Have you ever wondered why the 1920s were referred to as the Roaring Twenties? Let's start with the sound that defined the era. As the world was healing from the ravages of the First World War, a new sound was emerging from America, a sound that would come to define an era. Jazz. A genre born out of African-American communities, jazz music was dynamic, vibrant, and deeply expressive. It was the soundtrack of the decade, the pulse that kept the Roaring Twenties alive. Key figures like Louis Armstrong took center stage, their music echoing through the streets, infiltrating homes, and becoming the lifeblood of jazz clubs that sprouted like mushrooms across the country. Their influence reached far beyond music, sparking a cultural revolution that was instrumental in the Harlem Renaissance. This was a time of social and artistic explosion within the African-American community that left an indelible mark on American culture. Jazz music was not just a genre, it was a cultural revolution that broke barriers and set the tone for the Roaring Twenties. In an era defined by liberation and excess, one law seemed to contradict the spirit of the times, prohibition. The 18th Amendment, ratified in 1919, was a nationwide constitutional ban on the production, importation, transportation, and sale of alcoholic beverages. It was a well-intentioned attempt to curb alcohol consumption and its associated societal problems. But instead of creating a sober utopia, it gave birth to a surge in illegal activities. Bootlegging and the establishment of secret bars or speakeasies became rampant as many Americans refused to give up their right to a good drink. These clandestine operations provided an unexpected opportunity for organized crime to flourish. Syndicates like the Chicago Outfit led by notorious figures such as Al Capone, capitalized on the public's thirst for alcohol, amassing wealth and power through their illicit enterprises. Prohibition, an attempt to impose moral standards, inadvertently led to an era of lawlessness and organized crime. While jazz music was transforming the cultural landscape, a new image of women was emerging. The Roaring Twenties was a decade marked by social liberation, and nowhere was this more evident than in the rise of the flapper phenomenon. These women, known for their daring fashion and vibrant spirit, were a symbol of rebellion, independence, and the pursuit of modernity. The flapper's wardrobe was a radical departure from the corseted silhouettes of the past, with shorter hemlines, bobbed hair, and makeup becoming the new norm. But it wasn't just about fashion. The flapper was also a social provocateur, challenging traditional gender roles and societal expectations. These women smoked, drank, danced, and even voted, a right freshly granted to them through the 19th Amendment. This shift marked a significant step towards women's liberation. The flapper era was about more than just style. It was about a new woman, one who was fearless, independent, and unafraid to claim her place in the world. In an era of change, women were at the forefront, pushing boundaries and breaking norms. The Roaring Twenties was also a period of visual revolution. Art Deco and Modernism emerged as powerful design movements, reshaping the aesthetics of architecture, fashion, and visual arts. These designs were characterized by geometric shapes, bold colors, and luxurious materials, reflecting the era's optimism and dynamism. The Chrysler Building, completed in 1930, stands as a shining example of Art Deco architecture. Its gleaming spire and ornate, terraced crown are a testament to the era's fascination with technology and progress. In fashion, Art Deco influenced the sleek, streamlined silhouettes and intricate beadwork of flapper dresses. Meanwhile, in the realm of visual arts, artists incorporated abstract, geometric forms and machine-age imagery into their works, heralding the advent of modernism. These artistic and design movements were not just about aesthetics. They represented the spirit of the times, innovative, progressive, and forward-looking. Art Deco and Modernism defined the visual identity of the Roaring Twenties, capturing the era's spirit of innovation and progress. While cities were growing and flourishing, a significant demographic shift was underway. This was the Great Migration, a mass movement of African Americans from the rural South to the bustling Northern cities. It was driven by numerous factors, including the dire need to escape the harsh realities of racial segregation and violence that marred the South. But what lured them to the North was the promise of economic opportunity. Northern industries, booming in the post-World War I era, 
offered jobs that were a far cry from the sharecropping and menial labor prevalent in the South. This massive influx of African Americans into urban spaces had profound impacts. It gave rise to vibrant African American communities like Harlem in New York City and fueled cultural movements like the Harlem Renaissance. Yet, it also underscored the stark racial disparities that persisted, even in these urban havens. The Great Migration marked a significant shift in the American demographic, further shaping the cultural and social dynamics of the Roaring Twenties. The Roaring Twenties were not just lived, they were also written and filmed. This era of pulsating energy and dramatic social changes found its way into the pages of novels and onto the silver screen. Literature from this time period, like F. Scott Fitzgerald's The Great Gatsby, captured the opulence, disillusionment, and the roaring party scenes that defined the decade. These written works mirrored the era's cultural and social dynamics, encapsulating the pursuit of the American dream and the stark reality of its unattainability for many. On the other hand, the advent of silent films and the arrival of early talkies revolutionized entertainment. These films, often set against the backdrop of jazz-filled speakeasies or the glitz and glamour of high society, offered audiences a visual spectacle that mirrored the vibrant life of the Roaring Twenties. The literature and films of the Roaring Twenties provide us with a mirror into the era's soul. In a period of great social and cultural change, one movement stood out for its celebration of African-American culture. The Harlem Renaissance, a cultural and intellectual explosion that took place in the 1920s, was a beacon of African-American pride. It was in the heart of Harlem, New York, where this revolution of black culture took root, producing a rich tapestry of art, literature, music, and activism that challenged the prevailing racial prejudices of the time. Key figures emerged during this period, like Langston Hughes, a poet whose work encapsulated the black experience in America. He, along with others, used their craft to express a deep sense of racial pride and to challenge the negative stereotypes of their people. Art became a medium of protest, of celebration, and of identity. The Harlem Renaissance was a period of intellectual and cultural revival, a celebration of African-American identity. It was a time when the African-American voice found its rhythm, its cadence, and its audience, forever changing the course of American culture. As the Roaring Twenties echoed with jazz music and clinked with illegal liquor, a new phenomenon was taking root. This was a time of unprecedented economic growth, which led to the rise of a new consumer culture. More people than ever before had disposable income to spend on goods and services, and businesses were only too eager to meet this demand. Mass production techniques, honed during World War I, were now used to churn out consumer goods, ranging from automobiles to appliances and ready-to-wear clothing. These items, once seen as luxuries, became accessible to the average person. Meanwhile, the advent of radio and the expansion of newspapers and magazines revolutionized communication. Advertisements played a key role in this new mass media, selling not just products but lifestyles. They promised happiness, status, and success to anyone willing to buy into the consumer dream. The Roaring Twenties marked the dawn of the consumer age, forever changing how we buy, sell, and live. The Roaring Twenties were not just about jazz and flappers, it was also a time of political and social upheaval. This era saw a rise in conservatism, with many Americans longing for a return to normalcy after the turbulence of World War I. This longing manifested in policies that favored big business, isolationism, and a crackdown on immigration. The era also witnessed a resurgence of nativism, fueled by fear of the other, resulting in the reemergence of the Ku Klux Klan, who not only targeted African Americans, but also Catholics, Jews, and immigrants. But it wasn't all regression. Progressive movements made significant headway. The most notable was the women's suffrage movement, which culminated in the 19th Amendment in 1920, granting women the right to vote. This was a major milestone in the fight for gender equality. The political and social movements of the Roaring Twenties reflected the era's complex and often contradictory nature. As the Roaring Twenties neared its end and economic catastrophe loomed, the decade had been a time of unprecedented prosperity with a booming economy fueled by speculative investments and rampant consumer spending. 
The stock market, a symbol of this prosperity, was a whirlwind of activity, with people from all walks of life hoping to strike it rich. But this golden age was not to last. In October 1929, the bubble burst, and the stock market crashed in what became known as Black Tuesday. Billions of dollars were wiped off the market in a matter of days, marking the start of the Great Depression. The Roaring Twenties, with all its glamour and exuberance, had come to a sudden and dramatic end. Yet, despite this abrupt finale, the influence of the Twenties still echoes in our world. The stock market crash of 1929 marked the end of the Roaring Twenties, but the impact of this era continues to resonate in our culture and society today.